there. I'm so happy that you are here with me today. I have a really important topic to cover, and I think it's something that everybody who is on any type of weight loss journey has to deal with at one point or another, but there's like this extra little layer for those of us who have had a bariatric surgical procedure. So what I want to talk to you about today is weight loss stalls, AKA plateaus. <music> If we haven't met yet, my name is Sarah. I have been on a weight loss journey since April of 2020. And in August of 2022, I had a weight loss surgery procedure called vertical sleeve gastrectomy or VSG for short. Through all of my efforts, I've lost nearly 110 pounds and I've got about 25 to 30 ish pounds to go before I reach my final goal weight of 140 to 145 pounds. On my channel, I share my wins, my losses, my complete fails, and all the things that I learn in between with you to help you feel maybe not so alone on your weight loss journey. If you want to follow along with my channel, I would love it if you just gave that little subscribe button down there a boop and followed along and supported my channel. Big thank you to everybody who is already subscribed. I really appreciate you coming back for more of my content. So it's time for my weekly weigh-in, and I usually save this for the end of my weekly video, but it's relevant to what I am talking about today. So I figured I'd kick right off with my weekly weigh-in. So last week I weighed in at 168.4 pounds, and this week I weighed in at 169 pounds. So for those of you who have been following along, my weight has been fluctuating like crazy. So I have not been able to get below, I think 167.6 pounds was the lowest I got. And I have just been bouncing between that weight and 169 pounds for about a month. In fact, my entire month of April weight loss results were a whole one pound for the entire month month. So I am stuck in a little bit of a stall. I gotta admit it was a little jarring when I ran the math for April and I saw that I only lost one pound, especially because since I had weight loss surgery in August, my monthly weight loss totals have been anywhere from five to 10 or more pounds per month. So seeing just that little single one was a little bit jarring and I kind of was like, ooh. But let's talk about that a little more. It would be really, really easy to completely panic over this and let those kind of invasive thoughts deter me from making additional progress. I mean, I paid and am paying a lot of money for the procedure that I had. I've undergone, you know, major, major lifestyle changes. I can only eat little bits of food and to not lose weight feels like at first, ah, you know, like what did I do wrong? And am I gonna be the only person that this weight loss surgery doesn't fully work for? And that line of thinking is really ridiculous at a point, isn't it? I mean, really, is it even possible that I somehow screwed this up? Did I do something wrong? I don't think so. Thinking about it more, no, no, I didn't screw anything up. Stalls or plateaus are a completely, completely normal part of the weight loss process. And that's whether you've had a weight loss surgery procedure or not. The thing that makes a big difference is how you respond to that stall or plateau. Stalls could be caused by any number of things, any combination of things. Some of those things are, you know, are you meeting your protein goals? Are you drinking enough water? Have you gotten enough sleep this week? Have you pooped? Did you change your weightlifting routine or your exercise routine? Maybe you weren't as active this week as you were in prior weeks. There are just so many factors. Not to exclude what you've been eating too. Have you been snacking or grazing a lot? Have you been eating foods that are higher in sodium? Have you been eating foods that are higher in carbohydrates? The list literally 
goes on and on. Honestly, it could even be nothing at all. So that makes it really confusing, right? So like, how are you supposed to react? In my current situation, I feel really confident that right now my body is at one of its set points. I have mentioned many, many times in the past that the lowest weight I ever really experienced in my adult life was 175 pounds. So it's pretty logical that now that I'm lower than that, that I'm between 167 and 170, let's say, that my body is like, okay, whoa, you know, let's maybe we need to just slow down a little bit here and starts kind of figuring out what it needs to do. So if you're stalled, like I currently am, what should you do? First and foremost, I wanna tell you, don't freak out. You're probably doing everything right and everything you're supposed to do. If you've been consistent with your nutrition, consistent with your water, consistent with your level of activity, consistent with your amount of sleep that you're getting, you're probably just fine. It's probably just a set point that you have to work through. And it's gonna take some time and require a little bit of patience. Now, on the other hand, if you look at some of your habits and you do see that, well, you know, maybe I've been snacking at night a little more frequently, maybe try to cut that down. Even just by one or two days or one or two snacks a week, and see if that makes a difference. Think about the type of foods that you've been eating. Have you been eating things that are higher in carbohydrates? Those will make you hold water, which could stall your weight loss. Is it around your time of the month? What Did you have a weird time of the month? Any hormonal things that you can identify? Have you been eating more salt than usual? There's all these little things that you could kind of examine and are really to a degree nitpick. If you've been doing all the things that you know you need to do consistently, then just keep doing those things and trust the process. We say this a lot in the bariatric community, but it's very hard to ruin your sleeve or ruin your duodenal switch or ruin your ruin why. It's really, really difficult to screw that up and takes a lot more effort than you might think. And something I wanna call out, especially for those of you who are newly sleeved or bypassed, it's very, 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 very common in the first three to six months to experience stalls quite frequently, especially while you are still healing from a major surgery. The most common stall I see in my bariatric weight loss support group is people who are upset that they're three weeks out and they just started eating solid foods and now the scale is not moving anymore. That's just your body adjusting and it's just gonna take time. So I think my biggest tip if you're in a stall and my approach right Right now is just be patient. For me personally, I started weightlifting in the month of April, so I shouldn't really be surprised that I haven't necessarily dropped a bunch of weight. It's very possible that I am building muscle. I've pretty uh, aggressively trained anywhere from two to three times a week for the last four or five weeks now, I think. And so I have a feeling that's why I'm not currently dropping pounds. I think there's a little bit of a balancing act going on with my body. So I'm just gonna stay the course. I know that I'm hitting my protein Goals. I know I'm drinking plenty of water. I'm taking my vitamins. I'm doing all the things that I know I am supposed to do. I'm following the protocol. If this time of my life is just a slowdown period, then that's fine. And I just have to, like I said, trust the process. It's quite liberating to the very first time that you do not feel like you did something wrong. Don't beat yourself up. Don't feel like you're screwing it up. Be kind to yourself and more importantly, be patient with yourself. You've just got to stay the course and really, really, I said it 20 times just in this video alone, trust the process. So if you're on a weight loss journey, whether you had weight loss surgery or not, I would love to hear from you. If you have ever experienced a stall, I'm willing to bet that probably 95% or more of us have gone through this at one time. And just hearing from other people in the comments is going to make everybody feel a lot better. Like it's just so normal and we need to kind of just be okay with not dropping a significant amount of weight every single week. 
And if you feel confident sharing, did you do anything different when you experienced the stall? How did you break through your plateau? Definitely leave a comment on your way down there. Don't forget to hit the like button. Give the video a share if it was helpful or interesting to you. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It really helps me and helps the channel a lot. I can't wait to talk to you guys in the next one and I will see you real soon. Bye.